I'm Sophia. Um, I am a teenage girl. And like many other teenage girls, I am an avid contributor to capitalism. And I give in very easily to my materialistic desires. Uh, which basically means that I spend a shit ton of money on an unnecessary amount of clothes. Recently, I've been seeing this particular dress all over the internet. On Instagram, on Twitter, on Pinterest, on Kendall Jenner's body. And I... how do I put this lightly? I would sell my firstborn child for this dress. So then I did some internet sleuthing. And I figured out that this dress is from a company called House of Sunny that's based in London and it costs a whopping 98 pounds or $139. And while I said I would sell my firstborn child for this dress, I unfortunately do not have the desire to be that close to a male to make a baby, uh, nor do I have $139 to spend on one single dress. So then I gave up. Just kidding, that would make a really shitty video. Anyways, the other day I was scrolling on YesStyle since my little brother had asked me to buy him some new trendy summer outfits and like the great big sister that I am, I always do that for him. But I was scrolling and I happened to come across this item called Brick Black Spaghetti Strap Printed Cutout Back Knit Midi Dress. And it looked very similar to the House of Sunny Hockney dress. And this one was only $29.34, so like any sane person, I bought it. And now it's here, ladies and gentlemen, her. So here it is, here is the brick black spaghetti strap printed cutout back knit midi dress in all of its glory. I got it in a size small. For reference, I'm 5'5", weigh 100 pounds, and it came a little loose, so I just ended up tanking it in about an inch on each side. So I just went to my sewing machine and sewed literally a straight line down each side, cut out about an inch, and now it fits really well. The material is probably pretty similar to the original one. It's really soft, um, it's pretty thick for a dress, and it's just like this knit material that's like not thin and flimsy at all. It comes with these adjustable straps that I've just been wearing on the lowest, but it does like adjust up and down. The cutouts on the back, you can see in the mirror, are pretty much just like the original. There's three holes um, that I often end up putting my arms into on accident. For the pattern on the dress, I don't have the original, but it looks pretty similar. Um, it might be mirrored from some of the pictures I saw online, but I'm not really sure because I don't have the original. But here's what it looks like. If I stand up, the dress hits me about my mid calf. Um, you can see in the mirror, which is just where I want my midi dresses to end. Honestly, I love this dress so much. It's definitely worth $29. I went on a photo shoot in this dress and posted on Instagram and someone commented, House of Sunny is quaking. So I don't think anybody can tell it's fake unless they're looking really closely. And even if they are, they probably wouldn't even be able to tell. Here are some more pictures of me modeling. Yeah, this is just me forcing my little brother to take hundreds of pictures of me in uh, some random field. Um, you can see more on my Instagram, which is at underscore SofiaZoo underscore. Overall, I'm extremely impressed. I bought like knockoff stuff from Shein and Romwe before, and those always turn out really flimsy and like thin and just like really terrible material. But this is like, like I'm so impressed right now. And even though I'll never have Kendall Jenner's ass or boobs, um, at least I'll have a dress that is basically the same one that she has. I included the name of the product that I bought from YesStyle, the brick black spaghetti strap whatever printed cutout knit midi dress um, in the description. And I also left a link that if you click on will save you money um, somehow because it's linked to my account. And also my product code which is SophiaZoo. 10. So yeah, go get yourself a 
knockoff House of Sunny Hockney dress because it is so worth it. I'll probably be making another video soon about the hundreds of dollars I spent on YesStyle this semester buying way too many clothes, but um, yeah, stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!